it's very, very smart for you to make sure that you know exactly when you want to take it, know where you want to take it, and know that you're going to have the time to take it. What's up, you guys? It's Adana. I'm back with another video for you guys. Um, again, just want to say thank you to everybody for subscribing. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and join me on this journey. So today's video is going to be talking about the GRE. It's basically everything you need to know about the GRE. Um, Adana's version, okay? Um, it came about because I had a difficult time trying to figure out when I should take the GRE, how, like, how I should study, all of that information. And so I'm like, okay, let me take what I've learned and share it with you guys. So that's what this video is. Um, if you don't already know, the GRE is the graduate record examination test. So it's going to test what your knowledge is. Um, and it's the test that you use to get into grad school. And if you're trying to get into PA schools, a lot of PA schools require that you have the GRE. Some schools say it's not required. Um, they may take the MCAT instead. If you were planning on doing medical school and you took the MCAT and you scored really well on that, you can use your MCAT scores for some PA schools. But generally speaking, most PA schools require the GRE and some don't require it at all. So um, it's really up to you. Uh, you can tailor your application to the schools that you're applying to. If you're only applying to schools that don't require the GRE because you don't want to take the GRE, then do that. Don't take the GRE. But if you want to be a little bit broader um, and have a little bit more options, go ahead and take the GRE. There is a website. Um, this is going to be a nice little video for you guys because I'm going to actually go on to the website and show you where um, I found most of the information. But there is a website. It's ets.org. Um, that's where you go to actually register for the GRE. Um, you'll see your schedule of all the GRE test dates and you can choose your test center. Um, and then you can also go there for some other cool things that I will show you in my video on the actual website. So with respect to when should I take the GRE, take the GRE when you're ready. Definitely study, study, study. I took a month to study for the GRE because I really wanted to do extremely well on it, which I did. Um, so I took a month. I studied for a month. Uh, I told you guys that I went to the library and I was just like, hey, I'm studying for the GRE. Can you just point me to all of your GRE books? And that's what I did. I went and I checked out maybe like four or five books and I kept them for that full month. I kept renewing my um, my reservation with the library if books were going to actually need to be returned. And then I studied, I got flashcards. So when I did it, uh, I don't know if I knew about Quizlets or if Quizlets was even out, I don't know. But I had like actual flashcards, like like the real thing, like the real thing. So I had like actual flashcards that I was going through for the verbal reasoning section because with that section, it's just a matter of continuous repetition, knowing root words, um, kind of like medical terminology in a sense, uh, which you will more than likely have to take before entering into PA school. So it's good to get that kind of backbone of how to break down words and their meanings. So um, I just did that constant repetition with those flashcards and uh, it worked. I, like I was using, I was there like loquacious. You're so loquacious. What the hell is that? <laughs> like using words that people are like, what are you talking about, Adana? But I knew because I was studying. And so that's what I did. And then for the quantitative section, um, I just literally took tests took test, took test after test after test. I know some of you have asked me if there are any like services that can help you with the GRE, but um, I mean, I didn't necessarily take a, a part in any service. I didn't go and pay money to learn how to study for the GRE, but I know that some of you have said there's Magoosh in Manhattan, um, which are different services offered for the GRE test. I think Magoosh is, um, let me just make sure for you guys. So it's $129 for, I 
like I don't know a one-time thing that's there you can go there and you can pay the money that you want or um, or that you have to pay and study for your GRE and hopefully do extremely well or you can take the route that I did and go to the library and study your behind off and kill the GRE so with respect to the GRE you get your scores back that when you take it like you get to see what you got on the GRE once you you've completed it um, so that's really beneficial because it helps you plan plan out like well what next so for instance if you did not do well on the GRE or you didn't feel like you did as well as you should have all you don't have to report your scores um, you don't have to send off your scores you can just say you know what I'm gonna take the GRE again and so I'm going to study again <laughs> for another month and take the GRE you can take the GRE every 21 days so um, and I think every 21 days up to five times in a calendar year or 365 days so you have opportunity to boost your score and do better on it um, but it's just a matter of time and money. You know, you may have the opportunity, but you may not have the time or you may not have the money. So you really have to plan this out very, very strategically because you don't wanna be wasting time or money because those are things that you can't truly get back. I know the, the cost of the GRE is $205. Uh, if you want to like change your schedule or reschedule your tests, um, you'll have to pay an extra $50. If for instance, you there are deadlines for registration for particular GRE tests. So if you are past the deadline, if you're doing a late registration, then it's an extra $25. So it does, you know, build up if you're late or if you're changing or being indecisive. So it's very, very smart for you to make sure that you know exactly when you want to take it, know where you want to take it, and know that you're going to have the time to take it so that you're able to make those decisions and not have to kind of renege on them so that you're paying extra money that you really didn't need to be paying in the first place. As far as CASPA, so you put in your GRE score yourself. However, um, when you go to the ETS web, web page, um, you can also send your GRE scores to schools and or CASPA. With respect to the GRE and the date of the test, when you are there and you take the test and you see your grade, um, your score on the test, what you can do is have in mind the schools that you're already, you already know that you want to apply to. If you did really well, know the schools that you already want to apply to so that you can look it up and send your scores to those schools along with CASPA. Know the school number. Because if you don't know the number right then and there, then what you're going to have to do is send the schools, because some schools require that you send them your score directly and not go through CASPA. So if a school is like that and you know that the school is like that, but you just didn't remember the name of the school or the school number the day of the test, then when you go home, um, you're going to have to pay an extra $27 for each school that you want to send your scores to. So that can rack up as well, especially when you're you're paying $51 to apply to schools and anywhere from $45 to $55, maybe even $100 for some schools, I don't know, with respect to supplemental application fees. It's very, very smart for you to make sure that you can do everything in your power to make your cost as least expensive as possible and make your experience with the test as efficient as possible. All right, so those are just my quick, quick tips right there, just generalized information on the GRE. Let's go right now to the website. Um, I will show you the website and I will show you just kind of how to navigate it, how to log in, how to um, you know choose your test center and date and all of that um, right now. So let's go right now.